Here, hold that. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? <laughs> she done! That's why. Was that a good one? Yeah, it ain't got a tab on it. Yes, it does. Right there. Damn! <laughs> oh, shit. How you can tell there's a bad cylinder. Part out engine. Show you guys how to remove this, but. Uh, I think this engine's toast. The block, you can $150 from Boomers. You might buy it. So they can remake this. Now the KT, the KT17 had jugs. You was able to take the cylinder, take them off. Oh really? Mm-hmm. You recording? Yeah. Yeah, I have a special tool for this. Some common sense. Some people don't have it. Hang on a second. I'll get that off there. Was that one coming? Oh, I guess it. Yeah. It acts like it was hot. Yeah, that's, yep, this engine's toast. That should not just come out like that. It didn't come out before, so it must have just happened. Recently. Something went through that thing. What the, what? That or the block just failed. Let's see, failed. High hours. What, 1400 hours that she gave? It shouldn't, because yeah. I get a lot more out of them. Yeah. Our exhaust valve. That one's intake. Nope, this is exhaust. That's intake, exhaust. Oh, it is, duh. I'm looking at the wrong one. You do? I'm like, ignore me. There's just a little retainer. Just find the crack. Right there. Boop. Knock them off. Take your magnet. There's one. Here. Oh, you didn't get it. I can part this engine out for you. Let's put the money. Then you just loosen up on that. Release. Watch this one fall out too. You just push the valve and there we go. Oh, that one's in there. Yeah, this side's good. Valve will seem cleaned up, but they're fine. That one's more blacker. Same thing on this side, the springs. Just flip up. Don't do that though. Yeah, it's fun. Just a little cap. You guys on one side. The washer one in there. Yeah, now I can't get it out. <laughs> Here. It won't come out that hole. It's got to go back out the way it came in. You grab it. I do the same thing on both sides. Painter. Cap. Engine. First owning I seen failed and I rebuilt this one back in April. In the April when I after I did it ran fine. Find out this blowed apart, which is a spacer. Yeah, that's the reason we're taking I'm not gonna tell them why we're taking this motor apart. We're pretty much for the cam. Cam and carb to go on to came from the three eighteen we bought to go on to this engine. Hone. Be so, did you show them, uh, show them why the, the motor's coming out in the first place? It wasn't because of anything that you did. But where's the fly ball spacer? Yeah, I already showed them that. Oh, you did? Every year. It wasn't, yeah. that was a mechanic. That was mostly the failure of plastic. Yeah, it wasn't well, nothing we did on the rebuild. No. It just, when I rebuilt yeah. this, I did it. it. took forever, like a whole day, but here's the 318 you picked up for 800 bucks. I really, you should just give me the 318. It's a chassis. The engine's done. I'll take the chassis. Put a 454 in it. One of these days, it's going you to get this. high, high low swapped if I don't part it out. You can just pull these out like that, and there's the lifters. Oh, just tighten that up before you get that out showing these. Here's a, uh, oh, that's a P218, about to be a P220. All the valves cleaned up, the cam, 
that we gotta take the spacer and cap off of. Here's one piston that's ready, but I'll put it into a pointer cam. All this, 420. You just, what did you just put the magnet on there and they came right off? No, I knocked them off. Right back out. Just come in here. Their valve spring. That valve. This block, I think, has been hot, really hot at one time. Yeah. Just come look at here. Because when we came, when I first rebuilt it, I didn't notice nothing that different. Look at all the cracking. Yeah. I think she's done. Hard to tell. I can take it home and part out for you. Well, hell, I can take the part. I also do shipping. I can ship. I ship shit all the time. Yeah. I do too. Okay, now we can take the cam out. We need some old pliers. Oh, I need to get ready. You need to take this off oh, first. Oh, <laughs> And I can pull the cam. Cam can get right back into that one. Put it here. And cam comes out. Slowly. <laughs> yeah. Here. You're on camera. I can, I can see. Sometimes you just gotta twist them until you find. I think we got a lifter holding us up. No, they're out. Sometimes not. They came out right here. Let's see. Yeah, easy. What is it? Stuff. Uh, Woven. There it goes. Yeah. Starting. Hope we ain't got a busted cam. It'd be a bad luck day to put that cam back in and run it. It's not. Well, we took an engine apart and found out what happened to it. There it starts. Here, you got that glue, you got the knob over there. Yeah. Here. See what I'm saying? It's yeah. Uh, that's something. Let's try this. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm just curious. Let's roll this just a little bit. Like it's tight. Well, it's not that. It's uh. Should just something else failed then maybe. Yeah, man. How how long have you ran this engine? Twenty hours since the last song. We re fourteen hundred thirty one hours when we were in it. When we went through it. Yeah. What's it showing now on the hour meter? Fifty four. So like twenty hours. Twenty three hours. But when I rebuilt, we only took that off, took the cam, put that back on. We'll put that valve cover on because it has a new seal. Oh, I see where we're at. This is the same problem that other guy had. We're at the last. Is that ready recording? Yeah, it's recording. Okay, guys, when you do this, you want the tiner in. Can you see the tiner in on the outside, bigger size on the inside. Now this is ready lubricant, ready to go. And I put the hammer. You take a hammer, lever, straight, and you hold it in there. Just like that. And just wipe off the Edson. So easy to put a piston in. I cleaned up around here. The valves. I expect to switch cans, but eh. That's weird. <laughs> Well, it's on like that. You can pick the. Uh, 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 what? Oh, wait a second. Pick that up. Please don't tell me this is.
<laughs> Beat this engine again. No, nope, we're good. No, 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 that was one. How the hell did that come out then? No, right there. Yep, that was one. Son of a bitch. Let's see, that one goes on the intake. It's fucked up. It just came out. Fuck it, where's the fuck over the ratchet? Oh, my. I need to get the fucking well and do Oh, fuck with that in a minute. Or we can reach down in there and get it. Fucking um, magnet. Yeah. No, because the cam's in the way. Shit! I'm putting this fucking piston on. Fine, I'll tell Rip about. It's not like I'm getting paid or anything. I'll take my time. Oh, fuck. You put it in backwards? No. See? Tiny in. Tiny in. That's your big in, big in. Tiny, tiny. I gotta tell the kids now. Yeah. Good. Um, okay, after that, we fix the part. Uh, you torque it to 155 foot pounds. Uh, not foot pounds, I meant inch pounds. Inch pounds, yeah, not foot pounds. That one's tight. You turn the engine over. I don't trust that one cut it with the wrench. Oh, we flipped the motor. You might be torquing the one we already torqued. What one did I put in? I think this side. Yeah, this okay, side. that's hard. No, because I did like this and I flipped it up. Yeah. Well, I can tell you by looking at this. Thing. I see it. Get on that side and you do this 155 foot pounds. Inch pounds. Not foot pounds. Inch pounds. Well, I'm not used to using inch pounds then. Once that clicks, they're good. They're ready. Put the oil pan back on, put it back together, timing cover, and be putting the oil pan timing cover, and we can start putting the ballast back in. Uh, yeah. Oil pan. Dirty oil. Clean this up. I'll just drive forward and put it back on. For sure. Put that on there. Think about using brick work cleaner, guys. It really makes it easier to clean. Still junk coming out of it. Probably got some coming out of the dipstick. Hmm. Well, that's it for a minute. Catch you back on two when we get ready to install it.